expected to get back into the real estate market in the next five years in order to downsize. A recent survey found that more than 1.4 million boomers will be buying real estate in the next five years, and mostly in smaller cities. So what does this all mean for the housing market? Real estate expert Colleen Lyle is here to explain. Good morning. Good morning. So this is fascinating because I think there's a lot of things that go into this from what from what you're telling me already. Yes. Let's start with why. Why are boomers wanting to buy homes again and, and from what it sounds like downsize? Yeah, and, it, and it's kind of one of those, it, it's a double-edged sword when it comes to the market. So we're finally seeing baby boomers kind of planning for that downsize. They have the big homes. They're in the mature neighborhoods. They've got the four, five bedroom, 3,000 square foot house and now the kids are finally leaving. Finally. Finally. Because they've been there maybe a little bit longer than 10, 10, 20 years ago. And that's the biggest conversation actually. That conversation actually heats from that actual source. So the fact is that what we're seeing is that in, in my day, in your day, we all left by around 18 to 21. But if, if you were 24 and were at home, you were seen as odd. Yeah. Where right now... Um, That's very much the norm still. It, it's now. very much the norm. And kids are, young adults, are staying at home really up until 30, 32, due to the fact that the biggest thing is that the market has pushed them out. And it's taking them a lot longer. Back in, in our day, it might be five or six years to save a down payment. But right now, it's taking a lot of young adults 15, 16 years to save that down payment. So they're staying at home and, and our culture has switched a little bit to coddle our kids, to let them stay home and, and sleep in their bedrooms a little bit longer or, or create that mini apartment in the basement. And so now uh, the coddling's over, they're grown up and we're seeing a shift. We're going into the next few years where according to the survey, we're seeing those young adults, well those adults, they're in their 20s leaving and so mom and dad are left with a big house and they're saying, we got to sell this house. They're, they're finally saying, um, let's get rid of this house. And it might be for two reasons. It might be, I'm done cleaning, I'm done um, all the landscaping and the maintenance is just too much. Mm -hmm. The other thing that baby boomers are finally looking at is the fact that they want more time to themselves. It might be even for leisure, um, just for time themselves. It might be travel. It also might be the fact that the home is just too expensive to maintain any further in regards to maintenance. And so what we're going to see is a trend um, is a good thing and a bad thing in the fact that we're finally going to see those mature neighborhoods here in Ottawa finally let up. We're finally going to probably see in the next five years some more um, some more properties in those sought after mature neighborhoods so there will finally be some some more equity available. What we're also going to see though is that the lifestyle bungalows and the condos those are going to go up in price due to the fact that the baby boomers that's where they're they're looking to move to and that's what i was going to ask you next where are they going are they still staying in the house like in a in a in a single family home just smaller size or are they going to look to the smaller condos the high rises what are they going to be so, uh, going after they're they're going to be looking at all of the above so they're going to be looking at bungalows they're going to be looking at condos but they're also going to be looking at getting out of the big cities and especially not maybe not necessarily Ottawa but definitely in Vancouver and Toronto they're they're moving out of the big hubs and they're going to suburbia they're going even to the smaller towns so the smaller towns are going to see some really big push um, for um, those homes because they like the idea of a small city where you still have theaters and shopping and you can walk to the grocery store sure. um, and yet still have access to your family visiting without having to be in the big city anymore because of the kids. Does that create a problem though for the young generation who might only be able to afford even those smaller yes. homes? Because if you look at it then, if the parents want the smaller homes yeah. and the condos and the young 20-somethings can only afford the condos and the smaller homes, there's going to be a competing factor there then for And we're them. already starting to see it. Really? The, the market right now is still very much a seller's market. And the, the sweet, what we call our sweet spot in real estate, you know, those homes between, you know, 300 and 450, that is a very sharp and very high demand bracket. And so we won't see that movement 
of, of that demand, we're, we're probably going to see it in the next five years that that's going to be the sweet spot of, of the market still, rather than the big homes of 700 plus. If we're just seeing this now, do you expect this to go for some time? I do. I do. Um, you know, there will finally be some inventory of those of those homes for the people who are looking for their 20-year home. Yeah. So we're finally going to see that for those people that, on my team, we've been shopping with clients and not being able to find them anything. And finally, we'll probably see some inventory in the mature neighborhoods like Nepean and Old Ottawa South. Yet, that demand for the smaller and unit townhome or a great adult lifestyle bungalow, the baby boomers are going to have to adjust their mindset in the fact that they may have to get highly competitive when it comes to their, um, their home buying and their home value in order to get themselves into a home for their next phase in life. And likely, unfortunately, for the younger generation in the 20s, they might not have quite the collateral, the money that their parents, the boomers, will have after they downgrade that home and want that smaller home. They're the ones who are going to have the cash to buy it. Yes, and what we're also seeing in the market is, um, uh, with, with everybody on my team, I, I get reached out at least twice a day right now. Can you help me find a rental? Can you help me find a rental? We can't find rentals. The rental community um, is the is zero. We can't find inventory. So what we're seeing is the fact that is again that double-edged sword. Yeah. I don't want to leave mom and dad's house. I can't find a home. Also, I can't find a rental. The market is pushing a lot of people out into the exterior smaller towns. So even Ottawa is seeing the growth of places like Almont, Carlton Place, Arnprior. The smaller towns are really seeing that growth because the the major city hubs can no longer um, house the ones that are really trying to find housing. Interesting stuff. All right, quite the topic. Colleen yes. Lyle, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Uh, I swear, realtor here in our city.